What are going on everybody? Today I'm in Hanover and on the outskirts of Lucy they have jerk chicken, jerk pork, they have burgers, they have fish, they have lobster, they have shrimp. Today we're going to try curry shrimp pasta. This is Pepe Monte. Yeah, well, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, man. What do you have on the grill going on today? Well, I'm going to have some jerk pork. That, well seasoned already, man. Well seasoned already. And some jerk chicken. And some jerk chicken. Are you met the sauce on it? Yeah, man. The jerk season on Everything, you? everything from scratch. From scratch. Everything. What do you put pepper? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to just go and spread out it too long. So this has been marinating, putting yeah. on, and you just add your sauce onto it and Every right day. to the grill. Right. And the same thing with the pork. Same thing with the pork. Yeah, man. So the pork, you know, we're not going to put it on the direct fire because I want the Alright, so not on the direct flame. Not on the direct flame. Just because I need the smoke. So jerk, jerk pork, low and slow. Yeah. Make it back up, make it get that nice crust. Yeah man. So you just cover it now, let the smoke get through there. Yeah, let the smoke get through it. So you're gonna see the smoke. Start I drank it and boss it. I like it. That's that smoke getting right up in there now. You see when you put the cover on it that allows the pork to get that smoke flavor the smoke flavor is intense and you see the logwood that they have so that's very nice smoke flavor that you're getting into the pork into the chicken which is a huge part of jerk pork anywhere you go and you're getting jerk pork or jerk chicken you need that smoke that smoke is what gives it the bark gives it a lot of the flavor and really differentiates it from just being a grilled chicken or something put on the grill and that bark that comes around it, the seasoning, the marination of it that he said that he went through. Once you season and marinate and have that seasoning go into the chicken, into the pork and fuse those seasoning flavors, the fresh Jamaican seasoning, there's nothing like that. The smell of it coming off of the grill right now is just simply amazing. If you're driving by, the grill is close to the road, close enough where I'm sure anybody passing going to have a hard time not stopping because of that smell, the strong essence of Jamaican jerk. So you get a nice touch of it on the other side and yeah. then just give it a flip, let it brown. Low and slow. Low and slow. So this is the curry shrimp pasta. That's the curry shrimp pasta. Yeah. Look at the colors and the flavors of it now. Wow. Here we have the curry shrimp pasta. This looks fabulous. The smell of it is just absolutely making my senses go crazy. And then you have the color. The color is what is truly unique and magnificent about it. The color of curry on pasta. You don't see that often. That's a fusion of Italian and Indian cuisine getting a Jamaican flair. That's what you get in here. And it's mixed up and cooked down. It looks so rich, so nice. And one thing I can tell you, you see what I love about this? Pepe Monte, Pepe Monte shot. You see this? The size of the shrimp, the shrimp is ginormous. You're not getting a tiki tiki. The shrimp looks really good. Let me see. Mm. You hear that? You see that? Not only does it look good, it tastes good and it's not overcooked. So you're getting that nice bounce of the shrimp. You're getting the curry flavor and you're getting it with pasta. I mean, that, no, to me, that's the essence of Jamaica. Finding these dishes like this along the road, coming down here to Pepe Monte and experiencing this. This. 
Mm. Wow. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The symmetry of the pasta is not overpowering with the curry. The curry is just very nice, very smooth, very, very just flavorful. One of the one of the better curries I've had in a long time. And it really is beautiful with all the veg and stuff that caught up in it. Mmm. Wow. The thickness, I have to show you the thickness of the curry and the sauce and the flavor that was on it. Coming in and hearing curry pasta, it just popped out. It stood out to me and I'm happy that it stood out to me because it really is just inviting with a lot of nice flavors and I can add scotch bonnet pepper if I want to it and spice it up some more. But all the right notes, the curry is cooked stupendously good. Really, really well cooked curry. Compliments to the chef on the curry. The shrimp, the pasta, everything. Once you wind it up on, mm. so it's really quite something different. Something that I honestly wouldn't even think I would enjoy, but just seeing it on the menu just captivated me and said, wow, that looks good. When you taste it, completely, whoa, it blows you away. This is some really good curry sauce as infused in this pasta and really quite a unique dish. You get in the turmeric, you get in the curry flavor. It doesn't have a lot of spice. You can add your spice. You know how it goes with spice. You can always add, you can't subtract. So whoever is coming down, if you're having kids or anything and you're a pepper lover, I'd suggest you add your own scotch bonnet pepper to it or you could ask them for it to be spicy. I didn't, I wouldn't add my pepper to it, but really doesn't need anything at all to tell you the truth. I don't even think I will add any pepper to it. The, the flavors are so nice, so precise. Mm. This is something that if I'm passing, I probably might have to stop and get regardless. So this is one of those places where you make a trip out of a meal. This is one of the meals that I would make the trip out of, the curry. the steam fish and the steam fish is one of the most beautiful specimens that you'll ever see on a plate the colors on this plate is just really 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 just captivating it's just loaded with all type of food you have corn you have carrot you have pumpkin you have bami that's steamed down in the juice that it's cooked with you have green pepper you have carrot you have scotch bonnet pepper you have potatoes i could go on and on but my mouth just went water more and more because the smell of it is just rising up that bami that soaked down into the sauce that it comes with it's just looking very very appealing the colors the, the different layers and textures that you're going to go through while tasting this and of course them here so me and come you get a nice scotch bonnet pepper but just looking at it the, the sauce looks so rich and so pronounced with that pumpkin base the pretty orange color of pumpkin and look how nice it's cooked it just comes right apart it just flakes right off that's what you're looking for when you're getting fish once it comes straight off of the bone leaving that bone clean you know that fish is cooked very well mm. oh that's a breast of fresh air you know what i love there's every type of seasoning on it but it's still so fresh and clean that meat is and the first bite i don't know if i want to say it but it's true when i taste no holy pamagi <laughs> it's very well seasoned the scallion on it the bits and pieces of scotch bonnet pepper that is over it smother that on you have pumpkin this is a whole meal in itself it's so hearty so rich thick I almost can scoop up the sauce on my fork. You could almost pick this up and just drink it like soup. 
pumpkin base of the sauce, the sweetness off of it, the heat off of it, and the flavors that just captivate everything in there. That entire pot of goodness has soaked into the fish. If you look at the color of the fish itself, the skin has become orange with that pumpkin, the sweetness of that base that's in there. And I'm still getting a little bit of the scotch bonnet. You can taste the scallion and all of the fresh seasonings that have gone in there. Everything on top is just to heighten it, enhance it, make sure your belly full. This is a full belly fish. This is not a fish that will leave you hungry or wanting for anything after this. Once you have this, guarantee yourself. If you want more, you won't go like me. But just to have all of that and then a little piece of scotch bonnet saying hello on the side, that's just how I like it. Just how it is. I'm trying to get it with a piece of pumpkin now. Mmm. Yeah, man. Oh, it's a Sunday steam fish where you can get any day. Mm. Big up the chef, man. Again, the chef been hitting all the right notes from the curry. Come right down to this fish. The flavors that I'm getting, the flavor profiles in there is just stupendous. The, the amount of ingredients that he puts in there to get that such a nice, consistent harmony and like a synchronization, that dance of flavor. Jamaica rhythm, Jamaica food, beautiful. I'll get a piece of bami to go with that. I'm going to cut a piece of that bami. Bami, this is one of our oldest foods in Jamaica. This is coming back from the days of the Arawaks or Tainos, where the cassava was used in many different ways, but one of the main ways it was used was to create a bread like substance, which we call bami. That bread type substance was grounded down, a very tedious procedure in creating it, and it would come together in this beautiful piece of bread like substance and we fry it we cook it down and steam it and it's just wonderful when you have it with seafood fish and other mm, man the bummy and put a little vinegar in there to give it that taste you can taste that right off of the back so that's what people you rehydrate the bami either with something that will bring up the flavor enhance it on it because it's very bland it really is just cassava ground down and then put together to create a pizza like looking bread a flat bread looking substance that you can fry or that you can put down bake or steam in it and once you get that and it takes all of the flavor from the juice of the fish and you get a piece of fish and you get a piece of bami and you mix it together and you just live in a heavenly trance of seafood real jamaican seafood mm. This is garlic lobster, huge chunks of lobster just cooked down in that beautiful garlic sauce and stuffed back in the shell. Put some flame on it, you add that seasoning and you add your little ingredients in it, whether it's the bell peppers as we call them, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, bell peppers. But once it's cooked down and you're getting all of that flavor in back into the shell and the presentation is absolutely beautiful now people eat with their eyes before they taste it look good before i taste it and it smell good but oh my god does it taste good mm. wow very sweet flavor of garlic very nicely put together in there that garlic just encapsulates and encases cross the meat with a beautiful sauce. However, I kind of get it because when you use a lot of sauce to bring out that garlic flavor, it can sometimes get bitter. This is not close to being bitter. 
this is closer to the sweet side the meat of the lobster sweetness of the lobster meat the infusion of the garlic itself it just has that sweet undertaste to it that's just really really heightening and really really welcoming mm. the meat is bouncy it's flavorful again a very good job of not overcooking letting the meat get tough letting the meat get dry it just really just is very tender and the consistency is what you want lobster meat to be it's not mushy but it's not too firm and too bound where it's so rubbery that you don't want to you want to treat like a lobster ch chewing gum but look at that again now this is me i asked for this but i'm sure if you don't want you can always add if you want they can add for you the scotch bonnet pepper the flavor in there is not very very hot now make you run up and down and ball for your mother it's very nice very smooth just that little bit of that gives you that little flutter that really brings if you, even if you're not a spice lover i don't think it's spicy enough for you to complain it really just scores right well with the sauce with that garlic that they put into it i chef i forgot give me part of that garlic sauce ingredient here because wow Mm-hmm. Mm. I must say, I've been just blown away by the different flavor. Oh, there we go with that scotch bonnet pepper. And I tell you, see, no cough, no nothing. Yes, I like heat, but it's not hot. It's perfect balance of flavor and heat. Not just heat that you would get from like a habanero. The scotch bonnet is a much more flavorful pepper. We like it for flavor. We don't like it for to be bouncing off the walls and heat. So we have to go chuck off into the sea next door. Just good. But every part of that lobster is cooked perfectly. And then again, bami. But this bami is fried. I want to see, boy. Fried bami, piece of the lobster. You get it and you put it together. Add that lobster, add that bami to it. Mm. No man. Whoa. Beautiful. Great flavor. Great taste. The bami itself is absolutely amazing with it. Yeah man. This is good stuff. Very good stuff. Compliments to the chef. Him cooking. Him him doing a hell of a job. I'm not saying my cooking backside off, but it's true. Mm. the sea is right next door over here like that's a fishing village that's how fresh the stuff is and we're upstairs eating the food really good flavor really good everything everything it's almost like you feel bad that you'd have something bad to say but so well we don't did this you think my belly would have full and would have definitely want something can stuff up and thing but nope right back to the jerk right back to the jerk pit we could get the chicken get some pork we've had lobster we've had fish i don't remember we've had the curry wow the curry shrimp everything so far has been on point no joke everything so far has been on point the food has been amazing the hospitality by the chefs by the people that work here the staff itself so friendly so nice anytime you're heading to Negril or you're heading to Montego Bay, you're passing through these areas. I'll drop a pin, show you the location, and just try it out. Give it a stop. Try some of the food, the curry pasta, the shrimp. Them have wings, them have all sorts of things, or even just stop and get a drink. Support your own, support the local businesses. You know, that's how we roll. You know, that's what we try to do. So, ready for the jerk? Yo, the smell of it already. Yeah, man. Look at that crust, that slow cooked. Be gone for quite some while and just open it up and put you eat. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Yes, my boss. So I can even get a piece of crackling on it too. That 
smell. Wow. Mm, just break apart. Like, that's how tender you get it. I'm here with the owner of Pepe Monte, Pepe himself. All right, so thank you for having us. Yes, man. Well, Respect, man. We love yeah. the place so far. Yes, man. Tell best, me about the place. Best place in Hanover, man. In Jamaica, one of the mm -hmm. best jerk stop you can ever stop. Esha. But it's mm -hmm. not just jerk. You know, That's not, a beautiful thing. Exactly. So you can come here, you can get your fish, lobster, uh, any kind of seafood you can get. And you have the jerk grill, you're amazing. The jerk grill looks amazing. The, the just the setup of the jerk grill, and then the man from smokers around there. What you know, so I'm serious about them things. Yeah, man. So, whenever you're coming from the airport from Montego Bay, passing through to go to Negro, make Pepe Monte Cafe and Grill. And yes. this is in Esha? Uh, Esha. Esha. In Lucy. Yeah, make man. Make it your stop. It's the number one stop. Yeah, Rest man. Stop. How long have you been here? Five years. Five years. Five years I've been here. Now. But, but, but yeah. I can tell you that the flavors, the staff, everybody, very nice atmosphere, very nice flavors. And trust me, I have something special. You know? Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, man, respect, man. Thank you for coming by. Every time. Respect, I love you. All the time. Thank you. We need the Pepe Monte experience. Stop. Whenever you're passing, going to Negro. Are going to Montego Bay. Make Pepe Monte a stop. Peace. Okay. So this is our jerk sauce. That's your jerk sauce. Spicy. spicy, spicy. We use scotch bonnet pepper to make this. This is just regular ketchup. What, what, what make this? Scotch bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah. So I'm um, it's rude. For me, yeah, but like me, you like it better than I do. Um, you don't like the pepper? No. Let me sign us to That means they clear you up that good. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> Alright, thank enjoy. you. The grill is right there, the road is right there, Negril is that way, Montego Bay is that way, the food is right here. And the food is jerk chicken and jerk pork. Now we've been through the seafood. Now we're getting into the spicy stuff, the real real stuff. And it took a while but the pork you can see the color of it has changed and that color lets me know that smoke has been infused into it if you look at the redness of the meat see how red that is around there that lets you know that that smoke that's got up under that skin and has created flavor you can see where the grain has started to separate that's the slow cooking process that makes it tender and a nice piece of pork that's delectable Mm. All right, no. All right, no. The smoke paper is definitely there. It's not spicy. As I said, it gave me the spice. But that flavor of the hog is the, the smoke is really, really well pronounced up under there. The back itself. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Once you get the bark, you get that seasoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. The pepper in the seasoning. There's a whole heap of blend up, blend up going on in there. But the bark on it, that seasoning that's on it, it has a little spice. It's not really overpowering or too spicy. But you're getting the saltness of the pork on that bark, on that crust. On all of there is where the seasoning has touched it. And that's where you get all of the flavor. We got on into that pork. You're getting nice pieces of fat, nice pieces of lean, nice pieces of bone. And them said this is the pepper sauce that she said make her nuts chill run. Mm. Sweet and pepper. Very nice sweetness. Very nice heat, very nice pepper to the flavor. But that slow cook of that pork is so tender. And the crunch of the crust. I don't know if you can hear that crust crunching, but all of that seasoning is in that crust and that crust is what's been on that fire and pushing out that flavor, that jerk flavor that they have in there and it really is something very nice, very nice jerk it's, it's almost like a salt pork is what I get in from it the jerk flavors and the jerk seasoning on top in case but the tenderness of it on the outside, the smoke flavor on it and then to add the pepper sauce on to it jerk on the side of the road here in Jamaica we love more than that so just when you think your bridge in full and your bridge in pop and your bridge in pop down and you can't eat no more and there's no way in hell you could go any more further you get this this is a jerk chicken and the jerk chicken has that crust it have that bark on it and I even see like peppercorns or pepper seed on it that's something that's exciting oh pepper Got run on. Alright. It's hard to dry out. Chicken leg and tie. So it's not dry. The skin. That slow cooking process and getting that skin. It's almost like he fried it. You hear people say that all the time when them grill chicken. When this one is jerk, when you jerk it, it's like frying it. And that's what that is. The skin is crispy and crunchy. And charred. And flavorful. And just taking me to heights of places. Her great man reached and kept. We're not attained by sudden flight. But they while their companion slept. Matthew was eating through the night. Mm. Boom. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that one did it. Long time on our video. My belly full. Boy, my belly full. Good vibe, good energy. So, I just want everybody to know. I really appreciate the support. Full transparency with everything. There's never been a time that I've not paid for a meal. Any meal that you see me go and eat is something that comes out of my pocket. I believe in full transparency. If I'm reviewing a meal, I can't get it for free and not tell you. If it's for free, you will see it and I will tell you this meal was provided by the place. But 99.99% .99 anytime we're reviewing meals or reviewing any other dishes that you see on the Jamaica Food Boss channels, we pay for most of it. We pay for all of it. If not and it comes straight out of our pocket to give authentic reviews and authentic feedback on the food that we're eating people might say you know put a lot of negativity in there because we don't believe in negativity i've had things that i don't like but that's not to say that somebody else won't enjoy them so we'll leave it as is and let you decide what just showing you where the places are the foods that i like and the things that real jamaicans that's the real jamaica not the tourist jamaica the Hotel Jamaica, the real Jamaica that you try to get and try to experience. Big up to the chef, Chinese man. Him said, no one give him government. Thank you to Pepe. Thank you to Ashley, to Denisha, to the entire staff at Pepe Montes. 
the hospitality, the food, everything was amazing. Here down in Lucy, Hanover. One thing I have to tell you now is always stay safe, one love, big up.